Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another tutorial on Final Cut Pro X. Now, for the past couple of years, I've been using Final Cut Pro and I've installed a lot of plugins ranging from titles, some cool transitions, some animated elements, all this kind of stuff. I think I've spent over maybe three, four hundred dollars on buying lots of different plugins to help me enhance my videos. Now, if you're a YouTuber or a filmmaker, you really want your videos to stand out and you want to add some really cool titles, some effects, some transitions. There's so many things that Final Cut Pro can do for you. Now, I've come across this plugin. It's a super bundle of over a thousand elements, ranging from over 600 titles. And I'm talking so many cool titles, things that I've paid so much money for in the past over lots of different separate plugins. And then you have about 300 transitions. Now, I don't know how many transitions you guys want to use, but that is a hell of a lot. And there's so many different options to make your videos look so cool. And then you've got tons of things like animated elements. For example, all these things I can show you on the screen right now. There's so many cool things and you can match them up to movements with your hands or with different things happening in the picture. And then you've also got logo reveals as well. So if you're a YouTuber, you're signing up a channel, you want to make a cool intro, then you can definitely do that with this plugin as well. Now, if I had found this plugin a long time ago, I would have saved so much money. It's only $39 and it gives me so many things that I'm going to start using going forward. And I'm not even going to use all the ones that I've spent over three, four hundred dollars for in the past. So I just wanted to give you a showcase of what this plugin can do, show you some examples and let's dive straight in. <laughs> Alright guys, so I've just created a new project. I've got some sample clips here of a girl walking through a wheat field. Now let's start off with titles. So if you go into the titles panel, this comes with 17 different subfolders for your titles and they are numbered 1 to 17. So I have a lot of extra title packs that I've installed in the past so you can just ignore those ones that come in between that. But let's start off, you have something called minimal titles. As you can see here, there's tons of different options. I'm thinking there's way too many that I couldn't even choose from and that's is just one of them. So if you have so many different other folders for titles as well, there's so many things you can do. So let's start off and just give you some examples of these. So uh, I'm gonna point to just some random ones and give you a feel for how they actually look. So when you drag it to the timeline, it's so easy to use. On the right hand side, you basically just edit your text very easily make all the adjustments that you need to. And the good thing I like about it is a lot of these titles you can actually build in and build out. If you don't want it to phase out in any animated style, then you can just uncheck the build out option. And I sometimes like to do that, but it's obviously for your preference. Now let's just have a look. And there you go. That is so cool. You can also adjust all of the colors. There's uh, absolutely no limitations of what you can do here. So this is just one example. There's so many different shapes and title animations that come with this as well. So if you take this one, for example, you can do a spinning thing. I really like this one actually. So let me go ahead and do this longer title effect there. And you can see that it has a transparent background on the text as well, which actually is quite nice. I'm just gonna adjust the colors. There we go, let's just see how that looks. Look at that, it's so smooth. It really stands out and if you go into some kinetic titles, so this gives you a bit more of a punch in the animation and tells a little bit more of a story. Let's just take this one for example and see how that looks. Now, for me, I just have so much spoilt for choice. Now you can see that there's so many different things, so many styles. Now I'm just gonna quickly run through some of the other title effects that you can get. So you have corporate titles, so if you have more of a business video, then there's so many different options here as well. Now just running through the rectangle titles. So if you wanted to get more of a square look, maybe you're doing running some promos or running some marketing campaigns, then pretty much for whatever need you have for creating titles, I can guarantee they will be here. Then you also have logo titles as well. So if you wanted to display a logo of your company or wherever it may be, then you can obviously add that as a intro as well. 
So let's say, for example, I'll take this one. Let me get rid of some of these other ones here. Okay, so now if I hit this, go into the plugin settings, choose the drop, and then select my logo there, and then scale it out a little bit for trending reviews. And there we have it, apply. So let's take a look at that. See, it's so easy, it's so simple. And it's the fact that you can customize so many things with each of the different titles and effects that come with this and make it a lot easier for you to use and match with your designs or your videos. And I feel like with all of these customizations that you can do, it's just made video editing so much easier. So that's uh, one of the other examples for logo titles. You also have quotes as well that you can generate. And of course, for every type of purpose, for whatever video you're making, there's so many options. So one thing I've always wanted to do actually is create bullet points and explain them in my video clips. So this comes with a uh, niche titles, which actually allows you to build bullet points in a checklist format. And it gives you the options of one, two, three, four, or five bullet points. And the way I used to do this before is very tedious. It just took me a while and it just wasn't feasible in a long-term thing. I had to do a lot of manual work to make bullet points display correctly. But this is actually one of those plugins where I found something that I didn't expect and something I've been looking for for a while. And I've never really found any specific bullet point only title plugins for Final Cut Pro. So I'm just really happy that this exists. And as you can see, as it generates the bullet points, it just formats it very nicely. And there's also some other cool stuff. You have the option of getting a sidebar as well and displaying some timings of things in your video as well. Maybe some uh, drop pin locations, question marks, and whatever it may need to be. Then you've got a bit of a section for longer titles as well. So if you wanna add a bunch of text or paragraphs to talk about maybe different parts of the video or a story or anything like that, then you can do that. Lower thirds is quite an important part as well. So any filmmaker or YouTuber can tell you that lower thirds is quite important, especially when you want to talk about specific people or mention specific names or any type of thing of uh, what you're showcasing in the video, then lower thirds is the way to go. So if I go ahead and edit this, and let's take a look. As you can see, the title is just slick, modern, clean, and it's very simplistic, which is what I always like. You also have typography titles as well. This is where a lot of your marketing campaigns may come in. So there's some really cool things you can do here, obviously dropping in your images wherever they are needed in these titles. So let's say, for example, you wanna add a title in here. Let's take that for example. And see how that looks. Now, of course, you can edit this, move the text around, change the colors, change the fonts, whatever you like. It's so customizable. Callouts is something really cool as well. Not a lot of people use them, but I've seen them many times. If you wanted to display different parts of a video, then you can do that by calling out with a pin drop line. So, for example, if I wanted to point out something in the video, which I think people need to be aware of, then I can do something like this. So Maria's got a beautiful smile and I just wanted people to know that. And it's pointing at her smile. So you can see if you're maybe reviewing any tech gadgets and you wanted to point out certain parts of the gadget itself, then you can do that using callouts. Now Stomp is something I really like as well. These are titles that really give you a punch and just stand out and are more dramatic than just general titles. So for example, let's have a look at Bring It In The Lift. You can see they come in fast, they come in big. You can match them up to music and make them even better. So, so many different things. And this is something where if you are making like promo videos, trailers or anything like that, then these things will really pop and stand out for your videos as well. So let's say I'll bring in the drop and tuck, which looks pretty cool. There you go, stands out. 
social media. If you wanted to promote your Instagram or any other social media accounts you have, then there's plenty of options here. You can use hashtags, you can use your usernames, you can even put the thumbs up and the likes. So subscribe buttons is obviously an important one if you're making YouTube videos. So, so there's a wide variety of this. You can obviously change the fonts, you can change the colors, and you can even use things that you only get in Instagram stories as well. So that's really cool and it's uh, gonna make you stand out from the crowd and it's gonna enhance your videos so much more if you are creating social media marketing campaigns or anything like that. Now logos things is where you want to reveal a logo. Maybe you're doing a YouTube intro. If you drag one of these in, for example, let's make it a bit bigger. As you can see, pretty cool, but I wanna change the logo. So you can change the background image. At the moment, it's using a sample one. Just change it to use the drop zone you select the drop down, I'll use my logo here, click apply, and then maybe I might need to just adjust the size so it fits as well. Let's make it stand out a little bit more. There we go. A nice logo reveal there for your YouTube channel. Now you can play around with the different shapes and all the different options. So you have a whole bunch of logo reveals that happen in this section here. So I would definitely recommend taking a look at this and seeing what you can customize. And of course, logos, backgrounds, colors, fonts, whatever it may be, all of it is customizable. You have a whole bunch of backgrounds if you wanted to use this as well for making any cool videos. Um, there's a, a, quite a few options here, but a lot of them are a bit too in your face, so I wouldn't be using this one, for example, for any purpose, but nonetheless, you might need to. And then you have shape accents. So these are the really cool things that you can add to spark up your videos a little bit. And if you are doing different movements, then it might be useful to match this up in any particular video clip. So as you can see, Maria's hand is panning this way. I might find an animated line, for example that also pans in that same direction. Not quite, but getting there. Let's try this. But you get the point guys, so there's so many different things you can do. Just add some cool elements, add some sparks, some shapes, whatever it may be. Even some arrows as well. For whatever purpose you wanna use it for, then you can enhance your videos for that as well. So that's everything for titles. Let's move on to transitions. Right, so there's eight folders of transitions and these are basic shapes, color shapes, glitch, grid, ink, paintbrush strokes, slice, and zoom. Now I know I have a whole bunch of different transitions here as well, which I've downloaded in the past, but I'm just gonna cover these main ones. So let's start off with basic shapes. So these are pretty common, you just different types of shapes that you can transition into the next clip with. So you have squares, rectangles, slices, waves, so many different options here. So if I show you a quick example, let's take something cool. Let's take this little swipe here. And let's see how that looks. As you can see, quick, smooth, and very easy to add. So loads of different options here, color shapes. Now, I really like this one. You can really customize the transition here. So for example, you can swipe with arrows to the right, and you can see there's a little purple and a blue background with those arrows styling of the transition as well. Doesn't need to be arrows, it can be like these rectangles, slices, some parallax ones. Now I'm a big fan of parallax. So I'm gonna take this one and see how I can customize this. So let's add this. So to customize it, you've got all the different color options here. Let's change this to maybe red. The green, I might change that blue. You have the white there at the top. I might change that to like a orange peachy type. There you have it. So let's see what this transition looks like. 
So as you see, it went very quick. Let's go that again. It's pretty cool. You can even slow it down and extend the transition lengths as uh, you do with all of the other transitions. So I'll go ahead and delete that one. Let's show another example. Let's move on to glitch. Now I use glitches quite often. I just think they're really cool. They stand out. They're something different. And the amount of glitches that you have here, it's just you're spoiled for choice and you wouldn't really know which one to use. If you just hover over them, you can see they've got all different types of statics and colors and even lengths as well. So if I just quickly show some examples. So I'm just gonna go ahead, take number three, show you how this looks. There you go. In the blink of an eye, you can change the glitch effect and it just stands out. Now, if you wanted to include some other images in your transition as well, just to show people maybe a snapshot of what's upcoming or even some logos, then grid is the perfect transition for that. As you can see here, you have a couple of drop zones in them as well, and you can customize the colors on the other grids. So if you wanted to showcase something else while transitioning, then this is the way to go. And there's so many different options here, and I'll show you how to customize some of these as well. So let me take this casino vertical one looks pretty cool. Right, so as you can see, you have some drop zones. Now let's go ahead and drop some stuff into here. Maybe let's take one of these images for each drop zone. And see what happens. So you can even customize the colors of the actual transition. So I'll get rid of the green. Now you can see it's gone really quickly, so you can also adjust the length of the transition to showcase a little bit more of those other images and logos that you've added. Ink is also another good one. You basically have the previous clip spread out like ink flowing on some canvas or some paper into the next clip. So different start points for these inks as well. If I just quickly show you an example here. There you go, very nice. Now let's move on to paintbrush strokes. Now if you're an artist then this would be really cool for any types of creative drawing type videos that you're making. So a lot of paint strokes, I'm just gonna replace that one. Very nice. Slices, this is quite common as well. Now there's a whole bunch of different slices as well. Basically what that means is you're just cutting up the video in lots of different segments and transitioning it by animating to the next clip, like so. And finally, zoom. This is one of my favorite ones. I think the zoom transitions are really effective. They stand out. And this actually comes with little directional arrows to show you where the zoom is coming from. So this one is zooming into that specific area there in the corner. This one does a rotational, this one goes right. So you can play around with this. There's so many different zoom options here. And I'm also like very spoiled for choice on which one is the best one. But I usually use zoom in and zoom up as my one. So let me show you the zoom up. See, that looks just a very cool transition into the next clip. But you can also stretch the clips as well and swipe them. So what I'm gonna do now, that covers all of the different parts of this uh, Super Bundle plugin. I'm gonna edit all of these clips here and showcase the capabilities of using all the elements from this plugin itself and see how you can create a very nice looking video. So here's a sneak peek example of that.
right guys, you can download this plugin from Video Hive and I've got the uh, link in the description below. I definitely recommend this for $39, it's a bargain and I promise you, you wouldn't need to buy any other plugins after using this for a very, very long time, especially if you needed to create some really cool titles, transitions, animated elements, logo reveals, whatever it may be. Now, obviously it doesn't have things like um, audio effects or color grading uh, or just any type of video effects as well, but for the majority of the things you're gonna do, this is the perfect plugin and I definitely recommend each of you that is using Final Cut Pro to have this installed as a standard. So this is an unbiased review, I really like it. I'm gonna be using this in all my videos going forward and just adding all of these cool titles is, is my main purpose of using it. Now just remember, you need to have a lot of fonts installed right before you install the plugin. I'll have all of the links to the fonts as well in my description, but you'll have it as part of the download pack when you get it uh, from Video Hive. So if there's anything else you wanna know, then do drop a comment below. Otherwise I have a playlist of all my previous Final Cut Pro tutorials, which I think you're gonna like. And if you have any other questions, I'll try to help you out as much as I can. Otherwise, thanks for watching guys. See you at the next one.